What's going on you guys? My name is Bobby Kanak and I'm just documenting my journey as a screen print shop owner out of my parents' basement while juggling with school. I just want to let everybody know that it is possible to do multiple things at once and chase your dreams at the same time. Um, today we actually have a few projects, <clears throat> few projects to do. Um, this week is actually packed with orders, so it's going to be a lot of videos this week, and I hope you guys like them. If you guys have been tuning into my last videos, thank you so much, and I'm going to keep them coming. So let me take you along and show you guys what we're doing today. So here's the stuff we're doing today, or this week. Just a bunch of orders in there, and I'm excited to use this shelf that I just built. Um, it's not finished yet. You're not supposed to be able to see the wood pieces. It's supposed to just look like a floating shelf, but... I built this just because it's been getting crazy and I just want to, instead of putting all the stuff here, I want to switch over to putting one project here, one project here, one project there, and so on. It'll just be more organized. And yeah, I built this over this weekend and it came out pretty dope. Alright guys, so check this out. This looks so much more clean. If you guys watched my last videos, I usually set it all up on this table where one order would be here, one here, one here. It was just messy because I had no place to fold or anything after that. Now everything is just here. It's in order by week. Um, I got to do these shirts, these shirts, and then these hoodies. And then another order of hoodies. Another order of hoodies with t-shirts. T-shirts and hoodies and then more coming in so this just helps me organize it all where this will be like monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday i could do that too i didn't even think of that i just thought of that monday tuesday wednesday see it's just so much better this was great it's still not finished i'm gonna cover this but other than that i love it still facing that issue of this thing this canon printer still printing slow as can be so i'm thinking of running some prints on here, some prints on here, just because I don't want to wait so long. Just because I have to print like four or five transparencies and printing it on here would take at least an hour or 45 minutes. Whereas this thing is just zooming. Keep in mind, I just started this printer two seconds ago and this thing's been already printing for 10 minutes. And you're gonna see that this one will print faster. Cause this one is just so slow. So if you guys do know what's up with this, let me know. I mean, as you can see, this is just zooming. And just like that, this one's already done. And this one's not even halfway done for a good 15 minutes now. And I literally just printed another sheet of paper. And it's already done printing before that one's still finished. So if anybody knows AccuRip or how this Canon printer or what to do with this speed thing, let me know down in the comments. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Like, this one's about to be done. Yep, see? For that. Alright, so this one finally printed. I like to bunch everything up, print on one sheet. Here's the ones I print on the regular printer with the regular ink. And this is the all black ink. And as you can see, I mean, there's a difference, but is it really, it's not really that big of a difference to me. Here's how this looks in the light. You can still see it in the light, as you can see. Just like this regular ink. You can still, I mean, this one you can see a little more, but in my experience, that little bit hasn't been affecting my exposures, so I'm cool with it. Until I get this accurate thing fixed. All right, guys. I had a plan to change this, change all these pallets out. Um, they're really dirty, and I think it's time for a new one. It's a busy week, so why not get fresh new pallets? So why not record the process? First, you just peel this off, and then yeah, this thing is just ripping now. Definitely need it. Brand new again. These things are a savior. I mean. and then this, this is slight peel. Uh, that's fine. Nothing really gets printed there. And then what you do is you grab your 
palette tape, you can get this anywhere, any screen print shop, uh, screenprinting.com. This is where I got mine from. And you just come here. I like to leave a little bit of excess here so I can tuck it underneath. And I just slowly start tapping it down. And then some people like to use a squeegee, but I think hand works best. It's easier. Just lift it, drop it, and then here there's a bubble. Lift it up. And that's all. And then you just grab a knife, a blade. I like to follow the edges. I like to give it a clean cut. Now I follow all the edges and do the same thing. Except for up here. I go and sew it right there. And then you just grab this. Tuck it in. And there you have it. A fresh, new piece of palette tape. And then for this one, I'm going to show you guys how I do my marks. So this is a 16 by 16 wide palette. So I do eight, eight, just to make the center mark. And then I do, I have a 16 right here for the collar is how I look at it. It's my guide for the collar. And then four inches down from that is the chest print. So I put a dot, come back. straight line and then four inches from that or is it three let me check just gonna double check so I did three and a half works best for me good thing I checked And there you guys have it. Fresh new house. Ready to be printed. Chest, center, and yeah. And just like that, all four are done. And I did already add glue. I forgot to record that. Um, but if you guys do want to see that specifically, just let me know. All right, guys, I'm going to do the first test print. This is live, no behind the scenes, uh, no tricky shots. I hope it turns out well because I can see some clogs, and I hate when that happens. But I hope it prints well. Flood it up. Yep, the Y is clogged. That's just not fun. Please? It's starting to open up. Let's see if the, how the orange looks. See, this one's 
You can see it. I don't know what's doing that. If I gotta remake this too. Yeah, it looks like I gotta remake the arms too. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's clogged. You can see that. Registration isn't good. Gotta redo that. Alright guys, check it out. Human Empathy. That came out well. It's just the smallest thing you can't really see. With a screen clogged right there. You see the corners? It's the littlest detail. I mean, the customer is never going to notice that. But that's not how we do things around here. That's not how I'd want my product. So treat it like you'd want your own. And 777 came out well. It's just one clog right there. So we got to remake. I uh, won't focus. Both of these screens. But stretch test and all, everything's good. So it's okay. All right, guys. Before I turn off all the conveyor dryers and stuff, I'd rather get this order done while the conveyor dryer is heated. This seems to have no clogs. So let's do this. It's a woman's chest print it's for a restaurant and yeah let's do this i'm going to show you guys this one and then take it over to the conveyor dryer yeah this one's printing perfectly yep perfect all right, guys, I just printed this. Came out sick. These reds, they didn't even order those. I just threw them in because if you've been watching my um, recent videos, you know that I just throw stuff in there for my clients. And, yeah. All right, guys, this is a couple hours later. I got the screens remade, literally washed them out, um, reclaimed them, burned them again. Luckily, I had three screens. But I noticed the same issue going on. Where if you look closely, you see that? I don't know what that is. Dried up emulsion. For some reason, it keeps happening. Let's see if it happens on this screen. Hope not. So this screen, we're pretty good. I see something right there. I don't think that's going to be an issue, hopefully. And this one was squeaky clean. So let's see what happens. All right, guys. This is the moment of truth. I didn't even load ink on here. I just want to see if it even prints. So we're going to find out right now. Fingers crossed. I'm certain that this white design will print. And I'm just doing a lot of strokes just to make sure everything's going in. I'm certain that this will print. Yeah, that's printing. That's printing perfectly. It's not. There we go. Not really warmed up. It looks good. And it the white is stuck. And it prints good. Let's go. Um, I did the final test print, no registration marks to cover that up. I did the final conveyor dryer run, and you guys know what time it is. Stretch test. You gotta make sure everything stretches, doesn't crack, even if it's white ink. And everything looks good, and I'm stretching it a lot. 
So we look good, everything's smooth, so let's go to the apprentice. Alright guys, I just did the back print. It came out super dope. This design is definitely fire. Human empathy, I love that. So they got hoodies and t-shirts. I'm gonna do the t-shirts now. And there you have it with the back print. These shirts and hoodies are really dope. Price to pay. What's going on everybody it's currently the next day um i forgot to close this video like always i think that's a trend for me on this youtube channel but thank you guys for tuning into this video like share subscribe um i haven't been getting many views but i do see some of you local people i mean not local but some people have been commenting and i thank you um liking subscribing thank you um i'll keep posting because you got to start somewhere today i have a bunch of things to do hoodies um three more boxes of stuff just came so i got all that stuff to do and more and i have an exam today and essays do the school thing is just no way jose but we're gonna figure it out i'll see you guys in the next 